Hello YouTube. I got a couple of emails here. I uh, thought I'd answer. Um, this one, first one is from the same lady that uh, that uh, sent one of the other emails in the previous uh, video. Hey there again. I got a question. I had heard the Amish don't pay into Social Security system. Is this true? No, it's not. Uh, my dad actually paid uh, into into it, but um, he got a a paper that's called a soul uh, exempt number exemption number, which uh, it didn't mean to that he was exempt from paying into Social Security. It meant that he won't uh, be accepting payment from Social Security and um, like for retirement and so forth um, do you do Amish get birth certificates yes I had a birth certificate when I grew up uh, I actually had um, got a new one when I left the Amish because so I could get uh, um, Social Security and uh, and uh, driver's license, etc. Um, the whole thing, uh, you know, sounds odd. U.S. citizenship. How do you prove it? Just the conversation I had with someone. Thanks for listening and answering questions. Um, and then she also asks, when will your wife get getting her? Uh, going to get her site going. Um, okay, my my wife has been making videos, or made two videos at least, um, and I actually made uh, an account for uh, the twins, L Shannon and Cheyenne, called Slipboard Twins, and then I made another one for Laura called Vanishing Twins, because uh, she had a vanishing twin <laughs> what, the, what the doctor's term is uh, disappearing twins is also another term used um, it's uh, when uh, that one uh, baby is uh, absorbed into the system after the, you had a twin but you, uh, the, the twin absor reabsorbs uh, actually one in eight uh, Twins, uh, bir single birth start as a as uh, a twin, which uh, which is like Laura had, and so that's her username is Vanishing Twins, and um, and then I got um, one for DJ Deleted Junior, and. Um, I'm not sure when we're gonna really make videos for them so much, but uh, I made put up a couple on DJ's account, but not a whole lot. Anyway, uh, getting on to the next uh, email. This one was on MySpace. Um, sorry, it's taking forever to get back at you. I'm asking you something. That on a different subject, I'm sure you've seen and read things going on in Texas with the polygamous sect. Are the Amish aware of this type of religious act? And what are their thoughts on this, biblically speaking? I'm just trying to see what different religions' views are on this. These uh, folks say that it's okay to have multiple wives because it's backed by the Bible. What are your thoughts on this? How do the Amish men treat the women in the family? And how do the women treat the men? I haven't heard any type of abuse with the Amish women, so I'm just asking purely out of curiosity and respect, disrespect intended. Take care. 
Okay, um, yeah, I heard about the Tizus Plygamous sect, um, Plygamous Ranch down there. Um, what did Amish, uh, aware of this kind of religious act? Yes, they, they actually, um, I, I, when I was growing up, we did talk about uh, the Mormons and how they, how they, um, have multiple wives, etc. Now the Amish don't condone that. They don't believe that that is true. For one thing, they believe that that the uh, Mormons' Bible, which they have their own, um, I'm not sure how they call it, but but they have their own uh, book that they promote. And the word Bible, by the way, means book, so you could say that's a Bible. I'm not sure what the Mormons would call it, but but uh, actually the word Bible is translated as the books. And so, yeah, just books. Um, the folks say that it's okay to have multiple wives because it's backed by the Bible. Okay, the Bible okay, that would be according to the the Mormon Bible. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think there are some cases in the in the Bible, uh, the Christian uh, Bible, where they had multiple wives. But I don't think that was in the New Testament. I think that was in the Old Testament. Um, so I'm assuming they're basing their religion on Old Testament. Uh, in part, and also they have added their own, um, similar to, I'm not, I'm not sure, I had never read the, the Mormon, uh, Bibles and stuff like that, but I'm assuming it's something similar to that, and, well, I'm not sure, well, Somebody who's Mormon could uh, explain it better, I guess. But what are what are my thoughts on this? I think uh, that is uh, well, having that many. Well, first of all, having many wives is, is not, in my opinion, I don't think anybody can even handle that many wives. Uh, second. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think that's biblically correct. And um, my my thoughts would be that, uh, and also the fact that they had a, they were pedophiles. Uh, they had uh, very very young kids marrying. Well, spiritually married, spiritual, spiritual marriages. They didn't have uh, just legal marriages because they couldn't legally marry, but they had spiritual marriages, which means that they were just uh, in the church married. Um, but having Sex was that was kids that young. That's not that's not right. Um, uh, what are the Amish? How did Amish men and women treat each other? Um, well, that I guess depends on the person and the family, you know. But I think uh, for the most part. They treat them okay, but not. But that can that depends also. Some women are uh, more uh, more aggressive towards their men, and men are more aggressive towards women. It, it all depends on on the person, I guess. Um, so, but but yeah, there are there is also abuse on 
in Amish families. Uh, sexual abuse uh, and also, as I said, uh, with uh, Amish kids. Um, I actually have a book here, um, True Stories of Dex Amish. I read, uh, I um, met Adi Garrett, the author of, of this book, um, back in 98, uh, 10 years ago. And now he's, reportedly, he's not uh, on the up and up. He's, he's, he's like, uh, how should I say this? I, I was told that he, he's swindled a lot of people. And he, he's the husband to, um, Rose Irene Garrett, a former Amish lady, and she's also an author. Um, and um, but but uh, Adi Garrett, he uh, I met him ten years ago, and the stories are in here are true um, about uh, how how they were uh, treated and so forth but poorly edited very poorly edited so if you want to pick up a copy um, I'll put the link in the description of this video but just so you know it's, it's not the best edited video out there um, but check it out okay I think that'll do for this edition so talk to you later. Bye.